This is Gene Key for SkyServe News from San Antonio and KENS5.com. Bobby Hunter was lying in a bed at his Flair Street home early Sunday morning when his window shattered. Sounded like a big boom and a big gust of wind, he said. So he went outside to investigate. His carport, washroom, shed, and kitchen roof were all in shambles. Hunter and his parents were among several families displaced by Sunday morning's violent storms. What Hunter and other Southwest Side residents experienced may have been caused by a tornado. The National Weather Service confirmed a tornado touched down around 1.20 a.m. near the intersection of Loop 410 and Medina Base Road. The strength of the twister has not yet been determined. The path of the tornado measured 1.5 miles long and stretched north-northwest to the intersection of Allenhurst and Springvale, according to the Weather Service. Nearly a dozen postal trucks were overturned at the Valley High Post Office. Trees were blocking roadways in some spots. And at least 10 houses near Lackland Air Force Base were damaged. The fire department did not let the people back into those homes, and the Red Cross has helped them find temporary shelter. From Tyler, Texas, police say an apparent argument over a blanket has led to an East Texas man accused of killing his cousin. Tyler police say 29-year-old Danez Dwayne Black of Tyler has been charged with murder. Smith County jail records did not list an attorney for Black, who was held Monday on $500,000 bond. Officer Don Martin told the Associated Press that the shooting happened early Saturday at the home of Black's mother. Martin says the woman went into a room where 21-year-old Marquise Dwayne Black was staying, asked for her blanket, and the two began to argue. Martin says Denez Black, who also was at the home, heard the dispute and allegedly shot his cousin. The National Weather Service says temperatures early Saturday dipped to the upper 20s in Tyler. WFAA.com reports the rain didn't keep people away from the Texas State Fair over the weekend. The only thing more popular than the Friday Fried food may be the raincoats. The rain has been uneventful with just some heavy downpours to keep patrons moving. The fair has two full-time meteorologists keeping their eyes on the sky. They also use real-time cameras to gauge lightning strikes, street-level flooding, and developing storms. If we start getting lightning within 20 miles, some of the high rides will shut down, explained State Fair Vice President of Operations Rusty Fitzgerald. If I get wind speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour, then we start different things that will go down at different rates. Even if rides are halted over safety concerns, the food booths are sure to stay open. The Texas State Fair continues until October the 23rd. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.